crazy. Hey guys, so we want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing with this uh, chicken tractor here. Give you a little bit of background, tell you what it is our goal is. Um, we'll include some of the modifications that we did and uh, yeah, hopefully you can do it. We found it to be super easy. So this is a Suskevich tractor and so uh, you can find plans on the internet. I won't go into how we put it together. Uh, because you can get those plans really really simple really cheap uh, about ten dollars you can get a great book uh, by john suskovich so it is a chicken tractor that's meant to be moved around uh, so we will take some pictures of the wheels on the back that's where we got the, the string on the front every two or three days we move it that way uh, these ladies while they're in their on their roosts and they're defecating inside and they're tilling up the ground we can move them and make sure that that get that uh, delicious fertilizer gets moved everywhere. But so the Suskovich tractor is meant for broilers, right? So broilers are meat chickens uh, that do don't do a whole lot more than just sitting around and chilling out, getting fat. And that's not what we're raising right now. We're going to get there eventually, but we wanted to start it off with some hens and get some eggs going. And so you can see our, our red stars hanging out behind me. They're a little bit crazy. Um, and so we had to modify a little bit for our egg chickens. And so you can see we put up two roosts. Uh, there are those two crossbars. Those are two by twos where the edges have been kind of rounded off. That way they've got a nice place to roost. It took, them, it took them a little bit before they took to it immediately. They were laying on the ground when we first got them in, but they lay to it now. And then you can see that we've got three nesting boxes, which is enough for the six chickens that we have. And they should be um, getting to maturity to where they start doing eggs here in about two or three weeks. And so I've got um, three milk crates, three plastic milk crates. And we took the, the, the insides off of it. Well, we've got some pictures of what that looks like. Uh, I took a blade to it, took those off and we have some pine shavings in there. I put the golf ball in this morning. So fingers crossed we'll be getting those eggs soon. I'm looking at their combs and I see that they're starting to change a little bit more rosy, a little bit redder. So that's telling us eventually they're gonna be coming to maturity. So like we said, this is the Suskovich tractor meant for broilers, but we outfitted it with nesting boxes and with some roosts for our egg layers. We're gonna be getting, as soon as those chicks get to age those little crazy chicks we're gonna be bringing them out here as well um, from what I've read on introducing new chicks to, to a group of hens it's gonna take a little bit of doing but we're gonna get them out here as well enjoying uh, this wonderful land that we've got here and so But, so we've got the two wheels on the back, and let me just say, putting on the wheels, when we first started going off, where they were just right here on the end was a pain in the butt. And especially when you're sitting uh, in basically the leftover feces from the day before, it's not exactly the funnest thing that you want to be doing. So I went on the interwebs, 
found some different modifications for wheels. So I came out here and because of this short little spindle on the end, I had to do a little bit different kind of a setup from what you would see from a lot of what people have posted. But this is basically what uh, a modification on a theme, if you will. So you can see what happens is this lever just comes up and with the weight of, of the tractor, it kind of keeps it up. It's pressing against this to keep that wheel. We do the same thing over here on this side. It takes the end of the tractor off of the, the ground and voila, it's ready to go. As soon as we're done moving it to its place, I then just come over here, set that down, and we're set to go. So these wheels were a great modification. Uh, definitely something I would recommend if you're planning on doing this. And I definitely recommend doing this. This was a, a, a simple build. It took me uh, a couple days. It took one day and then uh, the afternoons of two other ones. But uh, yeah, very pleased. We've got it. Now this was a question that I had for a lot of the people in the pasture groups um, and the chicken groups and got lots of different answers and a lot of cheeky answers as well. What direction do I have the tractor facing? So you can see right now, well you can't see because there's no N and S pointing anywhere, but north and south is running like this. Because we're here in North Texas and it gets rather hot, I wanted to have it facing east-west. That way um, it, it shaded them or it didn't get as much of the direct sun as the, as the sun went along. It also prevents, since most of our winds are north or south, it also prevents those cold winds at night to, and it gives them a lot of good shelter because you'll notice I don't have the ends blocked off like you'll see a lot of other um, people out there on the YouTubes have. So during the summertime as it gets hotter, maybe we might orient that so that I get the north-south winds. Um, but we'll, we'll wait and see how that happens right now.